most people, when they price, you know, these engagements, they don't really have a framework or a mechanism to calculate it. And it's complicated because let's add into this quarterly tax planning. Let's add into this tax preparation. Let's add into this one-time tax planning. Let's add into this, the implementation of tax planning strategies. Let's add into this eight months of a cleanup, right? And so the problem is when you do these types of engagements, especially on the CFO side, the most deadly aspect of it is the whole part with, okay, we're on the CFO side and I have a price that I give the client and there's all this work I have to do. And it, is there going to be too much work for what I've committed to in price? With tax preparation and tax planning, there's not as big of a scope risk. With monthly recurring accounting, controller, CFO type services, the biggest risk is scope, which means the mechanism between the price and your estimation of how much work is going to be in there. And if you don't do that, like if you're sitting here right now, you're watching this and you're saying, oh my gosh, Andrew, this is crazy. And you say, how do I know if this is wrong? Well, here, here's a way to know if it's wrong. When you look at your business, you want to target one full-time employee for every 250,000 in annual revenue. So if you have, let's say 1.3 million in sales and you have 13 employees, that is one employee for every 100,000 in revenue, that is a problem. Why is that happening? Well, the way that you are pricing your engagements is resulting in a low price for a lot of labor cost, which is why your sales are about 100,000 per person that's on the team. That means your pricing is too low. You're not really valuing what you're doing. 